Jeff Leppard, pour some sugar on me here at Q104.3. It's snowing. Hi, Adam. Adam Ferrara is here. Happy snow. Thank you. Yeah, you made it uh, Made yeah. it through the snow through this the snow. morning. And I was so worried about being on time, and then I'm like, it's a rock station. Guns N' Roses is never on time, so if I'm a couple of minutes late. Actually, they're on time now. Jim can... <laughs> yeah, now they're on time. Yeah. always on time now. Really? And the hardest working person in the music biz suddenly. Yeah, mm-hmm. something happened to Axel. Yeah, he shows up on time. Yeah, he I does. I think the album was called Chinese Democracy. He, he it, does it shows ten, ten that, that go on forever. Yeah, you know he has just this energy that he, you know, it's it's just uncanny. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's far far more energetic as a performer than he was when he was younger. Okay. He, he usually doesn't work that way. All right, you know, I'm I'm not going to speculate. <laughs> well, you just did. It could be it could be Shelly's coffee because that's. <laughs> That's right. As soon as I walk in, see, I don't, I don't even look at this coming back to see. I, I look at this when I see you guys as visiting my dealer. I just walk in. She goes, here, here's your cup of speed. <laughs> it's true. You should see the difference in you yeah. after you've had some I'm of Axel the doggy Rose now. coffee. See? <laughs> What's your favorite Guns N' Roses song? Mm, Welcome to the Jungle is a great workout song. Uh, so I'll, I'll go Welcome to the Jungle. Or okay. Stripper. Yeah. All what? Right. Or Stripper. Yeah. You want me to be a stripper? No, or... <laughs> stripper song. What would your stripper name be? There's Mine? a way to do that. Yeah, it's like the street you grew up on oh. and your first pet. Well, the first pet was Rumbum, and the street is Barringer. Not very sexy. Barringer Rumbum. Either. That Bar- sounds. That's a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Rumbum. something you pay extra for. <laughs> Listen, table shower and a Barringer Rumbum. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. This mm. formula is what? I think for your stripper name. I, I think your stripper name is the street you grew up on and the name of your first pet. So what's your in what stir? order? Uh, I I don't know. I'm sorry. Is Bum Rum Barringer better for you? <laughs> no. Is, is that more palatable? Bum Rum no, Barringer. No, mine would be Bum Barringer. Because of Bum. Mine yeah. would be Lynx and Sydney. Lynx and Sydney. Yeah. Okay. Lynx like a law firm. <laughs> that does. How about yours, Adam? Uh, mine would be Pepper Bluebird. <laughs> See, that works. Yeah. yeah. Pepper Bluebird. Which was which in your household? Pepper was uh, was a, was a, was, a, was a Pepper was a gerbil that we had in the second grade that you were allowed to bring home for a weekend and make believe it was your pet. I couldn't have a dog because my father was allergic, so my father said, "I said, Daddy, we we want we want a dog. I we, we want a puppy." So yeah, when a puppy becomes a dog, I have to walk it, and I'm not scratching and itching. The dog's not going to send you to college. Go go get the, the gerbil from school. So we brought the gerbil home. His name was Pepper. So we that was our first pet, and I grew up on uh, Bluebird Lane. Okay. So it's Pepper Bluebird or Bluebird Pepper. Chris, what is yours? Pepper Bluebird sounds better. Doesn't sound what better. Is your yeah, and Sydney name? Lynx Chris? sounds better. Sydney Lynx sounds good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could be a spy too. <laughs> I have Mako Kickapoo. Mako Kickapoo. The Kickapoo. A Kickapoo. Kickapoo. Mako Kickapoo. Native American street name. Real? Yeah. Is Kickapoo? Yeah. Down the shore, Point oh. Pleasant. A Jersey, a, Jer- a Native American from Jersey. Oh, we have a lot. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Pequonic. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. there's a lot. But we got a lot of Long Lenape Island. Shinnecock Ind- Indians. And, yeah. 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 That oh, was cool. Yeah. The so, Shinnecock Canal Shinnecock is Canal. right there. That, mm-hmm. that, that divides the uh, Hamptons from the fake Hamptons. What's the fake Hamptons? West Hampton, Hampton Bays. Don't they that, call it the Hampton Hamptons? adjacent and, now? Hampton adjacent, yes. And then oh, Look at you. <laughs> I call it Baltic and Mediterranean. And, and then the east, then the east, <laughs> then supposedly east of the Shinnecock Canal is that's where Southampton starts, and that's where we're not allowed to go. Yeah. For many reasons. Many reasons. Well, that's that's why that's the, why the, the, LA the biggest doesn't... reason being lack of lack of financial resources yeah, yeah. to afford anything yeah. that's east of the Shinnecock Canal. Yeah, that's why That's why the LIE stops. <laughs> they, didn't want, yeah. <laughs> they only built it this far, and they're like, all right, keep that out of here. I and know, it does. And the parkway has those little, they, they don't want people out there. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. And, and then Mon, uh, Montauk Highway, mm-hmm. it, it gets down to like a little yeah. two-lane nothing. That's, if you don't have a helicopter, stay that. out. <laughs> Stay it out. works. It works. That's true. Yeah. Hello. Uh, announcing Peppa Bluebird. Have him removed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to a party in East Hampton once. You did? Yeah, in 1977. And you're or just getting back now. 1977 or 78. What was it? It was just a party with a bunch of rich, famous people. I felt completely out of place, but it yeah. was. Who it was, was there? It was fun to watch. Well, I remember Diana Ross was there. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, but there were a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. A lot of people there. And I got lost. Yeah. In the backyard. 
In the backyard? In the backyard. Yeah, I went out to the, it was these big formal gardens with these big hedges and stuff. Right. Like and, a maze. Yeah, I got lost in there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. All right. I'm, you I, know, that I, sounds I, like I have a hundred that, questions like, when we get to break. That, <laughs> that's the Hamptons version of Get Out. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why don't you show Mr. the God? <laughs> <laughs> He'll never make it back to yeah. the party. <laughs> Look over there. Adam Ferrara is with us at Q104.3. Now, you mm. were on Late Late Show with James Corden last week. Yeah, it was fun. And I got to, it was great because he was, uh, you saw the McCartney thing he did. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. Oh, was, I watched it again that morning. It was so good. And uh, we just I just saw the thing he did with Billy Crystal. Did you was, see what he did with Billy Crystal? I did not see that one. We'll oh show it God. to you. We'll it show it to you during a, during a break. Yeah. So he's funny. such a sweet man. But he's so, he's so good. good. Isn't he? Yeah. He yeah. doesn't get his due. Yeah, he we really were, doesn't. We were talking about that the other day. I mean, yeah. this guy is just extraordinarily yeah. talented. And, and just a really, really genuine human being. I really enjoyed meeting him. And uh, there is uh, some video. I knew him a little bit before, but it was fi finally, uh, it was there's, really cool. There's video of behind the scenes action from the show on mm -hmm. your Facebook page? Oh uh, Yeah, my wife my wife taped the sound check because she, she's more aware of everything than I am. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that, that was fun just being in the sound check and, and seeing. And the band was great. Reggie was great in the band. Guy, guy plays a Fender Mustang. I was, I was talking about guitars and stuff. It was really. So what did you do? I did stand up and uh, and then just um, I, I just did a stand up set on there. Okay, because you can really... never tell with that show. Yeah, because you're always doing stuff. You know what's, we... what's going to happen. But yeah, I, so I did stand up and I got to do it with um, Cal Penn, who I haven't seen since Top Gear. I interviewed him on Top Gear. So um, yeah, it was it was a fun night out. Okay, and well, I'll be at Governors this weekend. I'll be back on Long Island. I'll be taking the LIE. Yeah, yeah, Levittown. I'll be get Levittown. Going to I'll be getting off at Levittown. <laughs> Going to and Levittown. I'm doing one show tonight at eight, and I got two tomorrow. And I'm, well, we're, and uh, I'm going to give away tickets to the nine thirty show. Where's Chris? It, we, we have we have tickets. Uh, we yeah. have tickets. Well, it's an eight o'clock show tonight. Yeah, the shows tomorrow, tomorrow are seven and nine thirty. Nine thirty. Yeah, I think the other one, the, the one is sold out. Okay. Well, we'll be back in just a few. I'll be. Excuse me. I need Here's another hit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know, the first one's for free. <laughs> 12 minutes after 7 o'clock. I'm in the backyard. Here at Q104.3. <laughs>